Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. I'm actually really nervous <laughs> to film this video. I haven't sat down in front of a camera in forever. I kind of went AWOL since I found out I was pregnant and I know I've been very inconsistent with posting videos but my little girl is almost 8 months so I feel like it's been long enough and I do want to get back into this. So today we're going to do a simple get ready with me. This is honestly what I do when I have to get out of the house. It's really simple. This is going to be like a chit chat get ready with me because I haven't seen you guys in a while so I kind of want to update you on my life and how I've been coping with being a new parent and how my little girl is doing and everything so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Ulla Henriksen Truth Serum. I am almost out of this. I feel like I, I really have to shake it, <laughs> get it to drop down. It just brightens my skin obviously with continuous use not like right away. But I'm just going to put a little bit on. It is very slick. Now I'm going to use a face oil. This is the Alginus with Micro Algae Oil. It's a sample. I'm still testing it out. I don't think it breaks me out, but I've only been using it for a couple of days. So to update you guys a little bit on everything, just as a little recap. There's baby. I dimmed my lighting a little bit so it wouldn't bother her. This is Isabel. Hey, baby. <laughs> she is really really big I feel like it's going so fast she's definitely a roly-poly baby so I'm gonna set her down for playtime and we can continue all right she's busy watching Bokoyo and she loves that show so much if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll link it down below it's actually on YouTube and I try to limit how much time she watches it, but it's pretty much our secret weapon whenever you need to, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Moving on to moisturizer, I'm using the Ultra Repair Green. This is pretty much my go-to moisturizer. I've talked about it a million times. To recap on everything, I'm gonna start with feedings. I made notes, so we can pretty much cover a little bit of everything. She is exclusively breastfed. She was born really small, so I kind of had a tough time uh, with the breastfeeding but we eventually got the hang of it and uh, she's a chunker now. If we have to do bottles we will but honestly I'm with her 24-7 so and she is not a fan of them. She'll, she'll drink out of it now but at the beginning she wasn't a fan. She got a lot of gas. For foundation I'm gonna be using the Chanel Vital Mirror Aqua. This is a repurchase for me and I had it like a few years back and I really loved it so I purchased it again because I had a recent trip to Puerto Rico and this is a very lightweight foundation and it looks very natural. It is very pricey I have to say. When I went to purchase it, I didn't know they raised the prices and it was it was expensive. But it does work for me and I don't have to use a lot of it. You do have to shake it up. I'm in the shade 20 beige and I prefer to use this foundation with my hands. Anyway, back to breastfeeding. She had a lot of rash on her skin and at the beginning she was kind of a fussy baby and it turns out she had a milk protein allergy. I cut out all dairy from my diet. She was also having issues with her stool. She would um, actually have blood in her stool. I ended up cutting soy and gluten from my diet for a while because I wasn't sure what exactly was causing it aside from the dairy. She is now starting on her solids. Well, she started when she was six months. She's almost eight months now, but we're still working on textures. I feel like a lot of them cause her to gag, <laughs> so I have to feed them really, feed her uh, really slowly, especially with foods that I mash, because it's it's something new. I've been trying to make baby food for her using my blender. I made butternut squash the other day. Today we tried broccoli, <laughs> um, but like I said, even though it's creamy, it's a different texture. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer. This is a repurchase, and it's probably my favorite concealer of all time. It's amazing for covering up my under eye circles. And I try to use half a pump, it never really works out. It's, it's a really hard pump to work with. I place it wherever I want to highlight and conceal. I'm going to blend this out with an, I believe this is an equal tool sponge. And it is definitely my favorite for concealer because it's flat and it makes it really easy to blend it out. Anyway, she's been getting used to different food textures. And at the beginning she loved her greens. Now I feel like she hates them. <laughs> It's kind of hard to get her to eat her greens. Her favorite food right now has to be the butternut squash. She loves it. And oddly enough, she really loves prunes. I thought she was going to hate them. 
She also likes bananas, but I feel like she lo uh, she loves the prunes, like loves the prunes. <laughs> so I normally do not spot conceal, but I have this spot right here that I really want to cover. So I'm going to use the Kiko Milano Concealer. This is a full coverage concealer in the shade 2. This is a very dry concealer, so I don't use it often, but it does a great job at covering the spots. So let's talk a little bit about her sleeping situation. Uh, I do co-sleep. She sleeps in the same room, uh, although she sleeps in, in, in her crib. At the beginning, she was great. Actually, I had to wake her up at the beginning to feed her, and she was sleeping through the night all the way through around four months, and then at four months, she started kind of waking up more to feed. <laughs> She's now waking up at around five times a night to breastfeed, and she is already with, with her solids. <laughs> So I know this is probably comfort, uh, comfort feeding, and I am working on it. And one of the things I notice is when she's crying, like I, I'll go over to her crib and she's asleep. Like she's not even awake. She will not open her eyes, and yet she's crying. So I'll try to like let her cry it out a little bit if she's not awake, uh, cause she will stop. It's worked a little bit for us. Now she's uh, waking up at about twice a night. If any of you guys have any tips on sleep training at this point, please send them my way. <laughs> so to set my concealer, I'm gonna use the Ben Nye Neutral Set. This is a colorless loose powder. I love it to set my under eye area. And I am using the same sponge. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use a Clinique Compact Powder. This is the Perfectly Real Compact Makeup. This is in the shade 116. It's a very natural looking powder. The puff definitely gives you a more full coverage look. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows now and I'm using a sleek makeup uh, pencil. I don't even know where the cap is. Like it's Both caps are gone. I'm just gonna fill them in lightly, normally for every day. I, I try for my brows not to look as defined. They just look softer when I just kind of fill them in, in a little bit. Whereas if I wanna do like a heavy makeup, then I'll just go in and shape them and use the concealer to highlight and everything. Let's move on to diapering. <laughs> uh, we currently cloth diaper, but we also use disposables. I love using cloth diapers. I do have a cloth diaper stash, and I do want to make a video on that if you guys are interested. We've tried various brands, and one of my favorites has to be Bum Genius. I know a lot of people uh, love the brand. It's just very simple. I use the pocket ones. I purposely waited until Black Friday to get the majority of my stash. I also love the Apple Cheeks brand. They're really, really cute. The size 2 are still a little big on her, but I absolutely love the prints. I forgot to mention we use a lot of the one size diapers just because it's easier, it grows with her. So moving on to eyes, it really depends on how I'm feeling sometimes. I won't even wear mascara, other times I'll wear a little eyeliner. Today I'm feeling like a little color, so I'm gonna take the Color Tattoo by Maybelline in Bad to the Bronze. This is my go-to. I usually apply a little bit with my fingers and it just makes you look like you tried. <laughs> it makes you look put together. I love it as a base as well, whenever I wanna jazz up the look, make it a little bit more bronzy. So I'm pretty much just spreading it on the lid and up to the crease and blending it out with my fingers. So moving on to playtime. She's not crawling just yet. She's getting there. She moves like in circles or backwards, but not forwards. <laughs> I've tried to lure her with like her favorite toys. She's not like lifting her belly up off the floor yet. Sometimes I'll try and do it. I've seen her do it, but you know, it's hard for her. She's still getting the hang of it. She loves sitting sitting up. She does not like lying down anymore unless she's about to nap. She just needs to be sitting up always. Teething has been a pain or let's just say an adjustment <laughs> because we're already kind of still getting the hang of sleep training. So the teething has kind of thrown everything out the window. <laughs> uh, and like I said, I have no problem with uh, comfort nursing. But you know, when it's excessive and she's waking up a lot, um, I find that using numbing cream for her gums, I currently use, it's called fin Finafta. I got it in Puerto Rico. I don't know if they sell that brand over here. If you guys have any favorite teething toys, let me know. We are currently using, what's that baby giraffe called? Uh, it came with flashcards, so I thought that was pretty neat. So I can use that for teaching. 
uh, later on, but it was one of the more, more expensive toys for teething. And then I also got a little keys that you put in the fridge and stuff like that. I've been wanting to try kind of making my own little, like, maybe snack teethers using, like, uh, baby food, applesauce, and stuff like that. Sometimes when I want a little pop on my lower lash line, I'll also use uh, the bat to the bronze, but on a small brush. You can also use your fingers, but it'll definitely look a lot uh, smudgier with your fingers. Moving on to lashes, I'm going to curl them a little bit. This is a Tarte Eyelash Curler. And mascara. My current favorite is the Milani Lash Trifecta. This is great and very similar to the Benefit Roller Lash. That is why it is my favorite. Uh, it doesn't clump up your lashes. It gives them length. Keeps them looking natural. I went ahead and applied my mascara off camera because battery died. So now we're moving on to bronzer and my favorite one has been the Physicians Formula Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This smells amazing and it looks really natural on the skin. It is more of a cool tone color so you can kind of use this to contour at the same time. So to recap on how I've been doing, how I've been coping, um, my weight and everything like that, I did manage to lose all the baby weight thanks to the breastfeeding. It is a magical thing, I have to tell you guys, because I get so hungry. I've currently been making smoothies to kind of keep my energy up, and I use uh, cashew milk or almond milk. I'll use bananas. I'll also use oatmeal. Anytime I eat oatmeal during the day, it gives me an awesome boost in terms of milk supply. I do have an overactive letdown, so I have to use uh, nursing pads all the time. I've also had a hard time kind of keeping up with hy hydrating myself properly. My lips are always chapped. I'm always thirsty and whenever I don't have water uh, like around me, if I'm breastfeeding or if I'm doing something, I just won't drink water and that is the worst. I feel so horrible at the end of the day. I feel like that's one of the things I struggle with the most. Like making sure I get my nutrition, like eat enough or eat uh, certain foods that will give me more energy as well as hydrate myself properly so that I can keep up with the breastfeeding, I can keep up with her, um, and my energy will be just so much better. <laughs> I'm gonna use a powder blush. Blush. This is the Flower Beauty Flower Pot in Peach Primrose. It is a beautiful peach shade and obviously the camera is not picking it up well. So this summer was actually really interesting. We went back home to Puerto Rico to visit family and we baptized Isabel as well as had our church wedding which was really exciting. I did plan with my family to make sure we kept it low budget. I just wanted to have the church wedding to me that's really important. We had the wedding and the baptism on the same day but it was one ceremony so it was uh, the baptism integrated into uh, the wedding and it was amazing, it was beautiful. I was so glad to be able to share it with my family. We only had two weeks in Puerto Rico and I know that sounds like plenty but it was not because we arrived a week before the wedding and baptism so there were still some things to be done. I still needed to get my dress altered because I bought a used wedding dress off of useweddingdresses.com, I believe that's the website. Moving on to lipstick, I'm gonna use the MAC Shanghai Spice Lipstick. This is a cream sheen and I bought this for my wedding and I used it, but I also been using it as my everyday color. It is just so beautiful, so natural. I've been into kind of more glossy lips lately to top it off, I'm going to use a gloss. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Pink Champagne. And it is a light pink. Now, for every day, this is pretty much it. I don't take it any further. But I want a little bit of an inner corner highlight today. So I'm going to be using a MAC Nylon Eyeshadow. And I've been loving using a fluffy brush to apply it to my inner corner. As I was saying, I bought my wedding dress online, used. The original price of the dress was $600, but I paid $180 used. I was really proud of finding a used wedding dress. The day of the wedding was chaos. The wedding was at 10 a.m., so it's pretty early. At around 8 a.m., the lights went out. My hometown had no electricity. There was no AC at the church. It was so hot. Puerto Rico is hot, people. I also forgot my veil, so 
it still turned out great it turned out beautiful we had a great time the family together i'll definitely post some pictures to instagram if you guys want to see how everything turned out anyway back to the makeup i'm just gonna set it with the uh, city, city color collection primer spray this is a setting spray and also a primer spray and this is a really refreshing spray. It smells like cucumbers. So that's pretty much it for this chit chat get ready with me. Like I said, it's very simple. I also want to let you guys know that I will be posting more mommy and lifestyle videos on this channel as well. Because to me, a channel should embody you and should embody what you like and you know what you are. And I am a mommy now. <laughs> and I am interested in watching mommy videos as well as posting them. So you'll definitely be seeing uh, more of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!